That's who I'm waiting on right there. He should have my inducer motor. Hopefully he's heading right over to United. Yes. Alright guys. Let's go get our ICP motor. Well, hey, y'all. Thank you very much for taking time to come over and visit with me over on Fritz Rochester's Heating and Air's YouTube channel. I'm Fritz Rochester. I'm a licensed Kentucky HVAC master contractor right here in Louisville, Kentucky, guys. And, uh, guys, what we got called on today is a no uh, no heat call, and it's a ICP uh, residential package unit here, and it's a PGD 330060K000C1. And uh, basically, guys, when I came up on it, um, you know, uh, a furnace is a furnace, no matter if it's in the package unit or not, and it actually has a, an order of operations. And the first order of operations is that inducer to start up. And when we got, it, got here and we called it for heat, uh, I heard a, a little hum. So I went ahead and I tested it out with my fill piece here. And I had a 220 at my board here feeding, uh, that was, you know, feeding from my inducer motor to my board and uh, basically you know it was just a small a little hum going on in it so i determined that's what it was but uh, that was day before yesterday and uh, i reckon icpm is down for uh inventory or something i was told i called three there's three different outfits that sell icp here in town and i was told it could be anywhere up to five to 13 days before uh, i could get a brand new one but i got hold of united refrigeration and uh, they actually had one and, and at their Indianapolis hub, and I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, I had to wait for the UPS man, but uh, anyway, guys, I want to test this real quick again, and uh, just to give y'all a glimpse, and I'll get right back with you. All right, guys, I made myself like a little jumper set here, and I've got um, my terminals hooked it, and then I've got it amped out. But as you can see, I've got 245 volts, and I've got 1.86 amps, and you can just hear it humming away in there. Okay, all right, pull that disconnect. All right, guys, we've determined that motor is, uh, you know, pretty much toasted. And uh, it's probably going to be somewhat of a uh, kind of a bear to uh, change this out. You know, we can do it, no problem at all. But what it is is, uh, I don't know who came up with this, but there's a, a panel right here, uh, basically a shield. And behind the shield, there's like six screws that I'm going to have to get to. So what I'm going to have to do is actually uh, take my gas assembly apart, take the burners out, and all that good stuff just to get to it. So, bear with me. All right, guys, we got the whole assembly pulled here. And I'm inspecting the, the heat exchanger. Looks like it's kind of rusted. But I'm going to vacuum it out real well and see what we got. This is delightful. All right, guys. All right, guys, we done gutted the unit, so might as well take the side panel off, and this way I can actually examine the the uh, heat exchanger. I figured it'd be filthy. It's not too bad. All right, guys. All right, we got her mounted. We got inducer. We got igniter. We got flame, baby. Guys, man, this was uh, this was something else, y'all. <laughs> Had to wind up gutting it just to uh, put uh, 
put that inducer motor on there, but you know, it's just part of it, man. You know, sometimes we got good, sometimes we got bad. But uh, hopefully the good outweighs the bad. But uh, anyway, it's just part of what we do. But uh, all right, guys, let me get this thing buttoned up. No. All right, guys, we're going to run it through another cycle here. two or three cycles before I take off. Waiting for the fan to kick. guys i guess that's it for the day uh we got her buttoned up and she's running we we started her up uh, two or three times and she just now met temperature on this on the third go so